What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. Tonight on the show, we'll take a look at your dial rental own athlete of the week, along with some running news on a very interesting marathon runner. Check it out. We have Dal Rentone Mengila for our Dal Rentone Athlete of the Week. Today we have Chief Master Sergeant John Kanata, and here to present him with a check is Ernie. Ernie? John, uh, congratulations for winning uh, Dial Athlete of the Week. Who are you planning to give this to? To the Guam Air National Guard Family Readiness Group. All right, Mr. Kanata, you competed in the first event of the 2013 Tag Cup, which was the bowling event. Overall, how was uh, the tournament and the reaction to the families and soldiers uh, competing at the event? Overall, it was a success, and uh, this, this event uh, actually gets the families, the soldiers, the airmen uh, together uh, for a camaraderie, uh, networking, and uh, it's pretty core. Cool. Let's talk about the Tag Cup itself. Um, what was the purpose behind getting it started and a little bit of the history behind the Tag Cup? Uh, basically, it started when uh, General Polino's first time around as a tag, and uh, he wanted to uh, try and get the airmen and the soldiers together because uh, back then uh, you know airmen and soldiers were not networking with each other and this was one of his ways to get them together uh, get the families together and have that uh, that competition the spirit of competition but also uh, get the really the families together and and uh, enjoy uh, each other's company you guys have several events lined up for the 2013 year. What are some of the upcoming events for the Tag Cup itself? Well, the next one coming up is the Billards event, and that's in like in March uh, 16th of this year. Uh, but they'll go and we'll have different other events, like for example, basketball, softball, uh, and uh, a, um, a um, organizational day on July uh, 7th. Uh, and that would uh, take away, would, uh, combine all the different Tag Cup events. Uh, the Air Guard has won the, uh, the uh, Tag Cup events the last two years, and hopefully uh, we can try and keep it this year. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Direct to Own Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... In running news, Mr. Eddie Vega continues to turn heads in the sport as he runs marathons barefooted. The former Guam resident has ran five marathons in five days, competed in 36 different states and five different countries, and has ran a total of three marathons completely barefoot, just to name a few of his accomplishments. This will be my 75th uh, marathon. Uh, out of that, uh, 66, uh, it'll be 60, it will be 67 regular uh, full marathons and eight ultra marathons, which are 50K or greater. And, uh, yeah, my first barefoot marathon was actually last December 30th, 2012. Uh, it started out as a dare. Uh, it was my 50th marathon for the year. And I decided, uh, and I was just joking around with the other runners, that, uh, hey, you know what, uh, this is the fifth marathon uh, over five days, and I only brought four pairs of shoes. Uh, so I guess I'm going to run barefoot. And so they dared me, and I did. And, uh, and, and it felt so good, uh, and I got so much attention. And then I realized that, uh, you know what, uh, with this kind of attention that I'm getting, I think this would be a, uh, a great idea to, uh, you know, use as, uh, to create awareness for a foundation that I'd like to create for my parents, uh, a foundation that would actually help impoverished uh, children, you know, who have no shoes or hardly any clothes to wear, that are living in the Pacific Islands and in the Philippines. And uh, so I followed that up with another barefoot run about three weeks later in uh, Bermuda. And I was the only barefoot runner there uh, out of uh, uh, about 150 full marathoners. And uh, so that attracted so much attention of the spectators and, you know, with, uh, as well as the other runners. And I figured, man, this is a great way to really create awareness uh, for this charity. Mr. Vega followed up with another barefoot run in Arizona two weeks later where he competed against 500 full marathoners. He said that his goal is to run barefoot in all seven continents and in all 50 states. His main objective is to create awareness through his running for the less fortunate. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.